guess what guys is here the iPad mini 7 let's get straight to the unboxing I do love this packaging you no longer need the knife and firm C bags and stuff like that so let's bring the box out like this writing it says iPad mini all over the side and as you can see with the case here I bought a purple version it looks very grey in this box here and that's the specifications let's open it as ever this is a correct way to open just give it a little wiggle 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 peel it off I love this purple really good it's it's almost silver metallic purple this is a size fits nice in my hand let's see what else has come with it you've got a charging cable it's a white charging cable they haven't given you a colored version and here's some information leaflet some information about how to use your iPad mini another one what else is in here if you got one you got quite too many maybe Apple need to cut out a lot of these things and then there's nothing else in here that's pretty much it okay we'll move it and let's just go through the device so this has an 8.3 inch liquid retina screen IP3 color gamut um, let me just open or switch this on quickly Once that switches on, I'm just going to go through some of the specifications here. So this comes with the re liquid retina display, P3 white color gamut, 2266 by 1488 resolution, uh, which max us out at 326 pixel per inch. This iPad has the highest PPI on any iPad Apple currently has in stock. This is really nice. It opens with a purple screen. Swipe up to open. We probably need some time to get the setup okay we're back the setup took longer than I expected but in terms of display this looks really really nice it actually pops out better than the iPad Air 5 I have and this truly has a higher PPI than any other iPads in terms of what's powering this uh, iPad mini is the a17 Pro chip that you can find on the iPhone 15 um, but I've got an iPhone 13 with me for comparison. I'd like to show you the size difference between both of these devices here. If you are interested in what the size difference is. So that is a size difference. Um, so the, I the A17 Pro chip finally enables Apple intelligence on this device and completes the entire Apple's ecosystem to now finally have the Apple intelligence. Um, in, terms of, in terms of the build, it's quite nice build. It fits in one hand. I'd uh, be interested in knowing how this fares. It's got the microphones at the bottom, USB-C. It's got single cameras, 12 megapixel um, ultra wide on the front, and it's on the portrait um, position. I've also got a case for this. Let's have a look at. Let's have a look at this case. This is not the official Apple one. This is something that I bought on Amazon. Um, but this this fits so let's have a look before I put it in the case I just want to highlight there is no smart um, adapter in here so you cannot you cannot connect anything through the um, anything like Apple magic keyboard you can it supports um, it supports a Bluetooth keyboard but it doesn't have any smart connector accessories that if you have um, you cannot use that the only benefit uh, the other benefit that you'd get with the USB-C is if you got any existing power ch power charges uh, that supports that you could use this so let's see how this looks so this is how it looks with the case on let's get an apple pencil 
and see how that fits in with this case. So if you got an Apple Pencil, this is how it fits in. Uh, just a reminder, this only supports the, the Apple Pro Pencil or the USB-C. So if you have the older version of the Apple Pencil, it doesn't support it, but I'd recommend you buying it through Amazon. Again, just the cheapest option. And one more thing I'd like to make a point about is the anti-reflective coating that you get in the screen. So you can see it's it's got anti-reflective coating and how reflective the screen is at the moment. But when you turn it on, I don't think it's doing the job it's supposed to do because you can still see my face on here. But um, do follow the channel because I've got loads of video coming up to compare iPad mini versus the iPad Air. And I want to do a one day review and a seven day review. This is going to replace my um, it's going to replace my iPad Air as a daily driver. So before we end the video, I just want to leave you with a size comparison of how this iPad mini looks like against all the other iPads. So I've already showed you the size comparison between the iPad mini and then the Pro. This is the difference. But if you take a, if you take a look at the iPad 5 uh, Air, this is a 10.9 inch and this is where the mini rocks up at, at 8.3 inches. Um, and then if you want to further check, you can also check in terms of if you've got a notebook that you're replacing with iPad mini, this is definitely smaller than an A5 notebook. Thanks for watching. Peace out.